Maybe I can get a feel for it. Let me like and subscribe. I don't got nothing necessary to skip right now. This season, look at that! We're some of the craziest catches in NFL history. Oh, one hander! <laughs> These guys are freaky. And first is a catch that made someone front flip. And car back. Really? Lofting one. He's got a man. Johnson wide open. Tumbling and he held on. Man's really caught that while doing a gymnastics move and calmly walked away. But this next catch is something you will never see. Because two players caught it at the same time. Splits out to the top of the screen. Quick throw. And pick off. The deflection and intercepted. Oh, only like a crazy catch. <laughs> they really pulled off a double-ception on the first play of the game. But A.J. Brown's play was even crazier, and that's why fans were calling it the catch of the year. Hurts firing for the end zone, and a one-hand... A.J. Brown did this. A.J. Brown with an amazing touchdown! One-handed, and somehow got his knees in bounds? <laughs> no wonder why the opponent's employees were celebrating the play. But they weren't the only ones. Of course, A.J.'s own team, a bunch... Commander's oh, fan celebrating the, the um, Eagles touchdown. A bunch of NFL fans, and at one point, even the NFL themselves called it the catch of the year. But I didn't, because this next player's catch was so crazy, it made the refs and the commentators look stupid. Boy, was oh. that close to being a touchdown. Uh, what do you mean it was close? Rewind the clip. Throws to the end zone. Boy, was that close to being a touchdown. Yeah, he made the catch, but everybody felt like he was out of bounds. So he makes the completion, left foot down, right, oh, uh, no, it looks like it's on the white. So at first the refs ruled it incomplete, until the Seahawks challenged their call, and after some zebra discussion, everybody realized the receiver's feet made it in bounds. So the catch counted, and it was ruled a touchdown. It's a touchdown for Jake Bobo. Honestly, that catch was not as crazy as Lamar Jackson's, because his was only possible by catching his own pass. I've ever seen this is intercepted a hundred percent. Now, usually Lamar's only a quarterback, you know, the guy who throws the ball to players for them to make crazy catches, kind of like this. Ten yards and a touchdown. Step and throw. Deliver it downfield. Pick up. Brings it in. But as crazy as that Oops. catch was, another day. I'm a Dolphins fan. I didn't even know that. I barely even watched it, bro. I barely even Lamar watched had to the game. Become a receiver to make a play. I mean, what did y'all what did y'all expect? He had he had to catch it because it was him and like three other people there. He caught his own pass. <laughs> Dude really caught his own pass. Like, I didn't even think that was possible. But something even yeah, more improbable was a catch this season that only had a three percent chance of happening. To the back of the end zone, Sutton. He but, the officials look at each other no I probably could have did that. Wow. That man was literally a shoelace away from being out of bounds and still scored that touchdown. But that catch got even crazier after some NFL nerds dove into the stats. Because according to the calculations, not only did the throw only have a 3.2% chance of being caught in bounds, it was called the least probable play to be completed in NFL history. But still, it only happened during one of this year's regular season games. Brandon Ayuk made an even crazier catch in the playoffs. Time. I see this, Watching deep, going for Brandon Ayuk. It is. Oh, he caught it off the ricochet. Penalty. Is he in? He's down to the five. We'll see what the penalty it's is. Like a lady oh, boy, 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 boy. We'll see if it stands. Okay. Through his opponent's hands, off the dude's head, and Ayuk go for it? <laughs> I don't know what's crazier, the catch, or the fact that dude gave all the credit for this play to a bug? Tell us all about that catch. Before the game, a ladybug landed on my shoe. Come on. Hey, y'all know what that means? Uh, actually, I don't know what that means, bro. I uh, do not know Okay, so apparently the ladybug gave him good luck, but luck had nothing to do with these next catches. So far, even though we've only seen crazy catches on a football field, some of the craziest catches in the NFL this season happened in the water. Puka Nakua and David Njoku got into a little competition during Pro Bowl weekend. They each had three attempts to see who could make the craziest catch. And first up was Puka, who took his attempts to the lake and used a wakeboard. Oh! oh. After failing a few times, eventually he pulled off something crazy. 
said a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. A crazy catch while riding waves and going 20 miles an hour? That catch was going to be tough to beat, but David wasn't phased. I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to show y'all better. And right after he said that, he tried pulling off an even crazier catch using a rope swing. That was crazy, though. I didn't know they did the promo at anywhere else. Unfortunately though, cause he let go of that last attempt, his trick play could not be completed. So it was pretty obvious what the results of the competition were gonna be. The winner of the Pro Bowl 2024 best catch is Puka. Wait, so they were at the they were in the water and then they came right back to there. She was. It's always that Puka was because he he caught one and he got he <laughs> Now, Puka may have been crowned champion, but he had plenty of attempts to make it happen. An even crazier play happened in a real game when a team only had a few seconds left and one opportunity to pull off a miracle. Unleashes towards the end zone. It oh is the it and it's Nah, nigga, that is crazy. Well, Look, that is love. Think this next catch is even crazier because it got compared to the greatest catch of all time. That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen. For this, we need to time travel to a date that matters a lot. November 23rd, 2014. That was oh, the Odell first catch. iconic catch happened by Odell Beckham. How in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness. One handed. And I, what I don't get, bro. That wasn't even one hand. I was like three, four fingers, something like that. He needs his whole body back like this, bro. Oh, what are you thinking? Yeah. What the hell does that have to do with this season, you dumb clickbaiter? Well, exactly nine years later to the day, November 23rd, 2023, another player pulled off a catch that had everyone comparing him to Odell. This is all compared. Didn't Jamar Chase do that similar catch in the Super Bowl? But y'all comparing that? I'm thinking this man did a whole backflip twist in the middle, bro. Like, who do this? What, what, what catch do I think better? The old L O D catch, or are you catching like this? I don't believe he catch the ball back like this. While spinning his entire body to even see the ball. Also compared to Jamar Chase catch. And pulling off a crazy diving catch with his fingertips? That one-handed catch had fans comparing it to Odell's? Stories came out comparing them? And even sports shows made headlines yeah, about happening on the anniversary. Jamar Chase. How in the world? Oh my goodness. And but as crazy as both of their one-handed... What, what is crazy though is that it was like nine years later... And it was like exactly the day, November 23rd. So that's it catches work. Neither of them were as wild as a player this season who caught a ball one handed behind his back. Well, Ritter well protected. The throw he used. I can't hardly see it. Hold so on. Wow. There's my guy. Uh, behind the back? I thought that only happened in the NBA. And what's even crazier is how that happened on a holiday, National Tight Ends Day, by a tight end. So maybe dude was just trying to celebrate? Uh, I don't know. But what I do know. For me, I only do on um, one day, like Sundays and junk. I only be watching the Dolphin game. We gotta turn on Red Zone, bro. She was everywhere. Like, you gotta turn on Red Zone. But then I like a Dolphin game on your phone so you can see this and like you can see everything. Is that one ball? It's less than six balls. So this next catch is even go. crazier because a player caught six balls at once. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh -oh. You got six? Uh -oh. Who's that? Uh, catching that many balls at once is either sus or it's got to be a record. But speaking of records, this next catch had a player make an NFL history. Keenan uh, what? was on this next catch had a player make an NFL history. Keenan Allen was on the brink of doing something that only NFL legends do. Keenan Allen, like, it looked like he did a bigger homie class. Sometimes you be in games, you know, it's a little like white guard thing that goes like right here. 
feel like you got a lot right here. Look, it don't fit. He was just about to hit the top yeah, 50 swag for most receiving yards in NFL history. And ironically, when he was just one catch away, he made the craziest catch of his career. Herbert floats it. Allen, what a catch! See, you could compare that to OBJ. Way. Dude really made history with a spinning one-handed catch? Now that's crazy. But making history and helping the squad win the game is one thing. This next player's craziest catch won his team a championship. The Chiefs have won! The Chiefs have won! The 2024 Super Bowl was about to be crazy. As things got going, both teams were making catch after catch after catch. But not even any of those compared to what was about to happen. Because in overtime, the Chiefs were a score away from winning the game. And after they drove all the way downfield, a player blacked out. Or at least that's what McCole Hardman claimed happened to him during this crazy play. First and goal. Mahomes flings it. It's there! Hardman! Jackpot! Kansas City! I knew everything that happened up until I turned around and held the ball. So I knew I caught the ball. And I caught the football literally after I caught it. Don't remember nothing else. Man. It's kind of crazy that dude didn't even realize what happened when his play literally ended the game. And all because of his catch, he and his squad became champions, held up the trophy. I was really saying, like, as soon as he caught, I had that too. It was a football game. Once I caught, like, every single touchdown, when I caught it, I don't even know what happened. And then I'm just in the end zone there, but I celebrated. I, I just noticed that I scored. He said, like, when he caught the ball, he just blacked out. And then basically you just woke back up, I guess. I don't know what to call it. And got to like there couldn't be a crazier play this season. But to me, and even to the NFL, the catch itself was not crazy. So it definitely wasn't the craziest to happen this year. For that, we've got to hand the crown over to Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson! Woo! That was crazy. What a while the arm was being held, he really used the other to tip the ball to himself and make the catch. That's Look unbelievable. And not only did ESPN rank it as Ooh. their best catch, the NFL themselves put it at number one, and so am I. But something even crazier than that catch is how disrespectful things got in the NFL this season. One player literally pooped on his opponent's logo. Another player wore a t-shirt that had fans damn near rioting. Things don't get much crazier than what's in this video. Alright y'all. Let's end of this video. You know what? We finna react to this video right here in the next video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to 50 subscribers so we can find the stream on YouTube. See you on the world.